So either you just got your tax return or you're about to get your tax return. And if you're like most people, you are so excited. Welcome to the channel. My name is Paris Clough and this is Financial Self-Reliance. I absolutely love helping people manage, protect, and grow their money. In this video, I'm gonna share with you four reasons why I think getting a tax return is a big problem. The first of those is defining what a tax return is. It's actually the IRS giving you your money back. What that means is every month when you pay taxes or every time you get paid in your payroll, and you pay taxes, you actually pay too much. And because of that, you're getting that money back now because you overpaid. Now, nobody ever overpays anywhere else. You don't go to the grocery store and overpay on your groceries and then tell the grocer that at the end of the year, you'd like to give them all the money that you overpaid them. You'd like to have that money back. You don't do that anywhere else. So why do we do that with the IRS? I mean, granted, the IRS is kind of a scary big brother kind of a deal. So some people err on the side of caution where they say, well, give them a little extra and then hopefully they'll give us some back. But in reality, let's just pay what we're supposed to pay and use our own money during the year to do the things that we want to do. And that brings me to the next set of problems. A lot of people, when I sit down with them and I go over their finances with them and they get a big tax return and I'll ask them, what are you going to do with that tax return? And a lot of times they'll tell me, oh, I'm going to pay off some debts. So this is the next big problem is a lot of people get a tax return so they can pay off their debts. Well, what if you had the money during the year and you could pay off your debts during the year and you wouldn't have to pay a huge amount of interest because you could just be paying it off throughout the year. Or maybe you didn't have to go into debt at all because you had the money when you needed it and you just paid for things. It doesn't make any sense to me why you would wait a whole year paying interest on that credit card or on that loan balance and then at the end of the year, pay it all off. Well, why don't you just fill out your W-4 properly at work, get the amount of money you're supposed to get, stop overpaying the government, and then use the money that you're overpaying the government to actually pay your debts, to pay your loans, to pay for the things that you're paying interest on. You're actually paying interest on loans that you could be avoiding by paying that money off earlier or throughout the year instead of waiting a whole year of paying interest and then paying it off and the interest you have to pay. The next thing that I've had clients tell me over the years is that Oh, they use that as a savings account so that they can buy some things. They save up for certain things. They want to buy furniture. They want to buy a car. They want to put down payments on certain things. So they'll use their IRS tax refund as kind of a savings account to be able to pay for things. Well, that makes no sense because it's a zero interest savings account. So why would you pay extra, not earn any money, and then use that to build up to to pay for something that you want to buy? Why not fill out your W-4 properly, get the money in your paycheck that you're supposed to pay, get, Stop paying, overpaying the government each, each month, each paycheck, and then use that money to save in a savings account where you're actually earning an interest rate and earn yourself two or three or 4%. And then by the time you go to buy that thing, you actually have enough money plus a little bit extra because you earned interest on it. That, that just makes sense to me. Why pay more to the government than you need to? Now, another thing that people tell me that they want to do with their tax refund is they want to invest it. Well, that's a great idea. In fact, of all of these ideas, that's the least problematic. So if you take your tax return and you invest the money, you're gonna have a great opportunity to buy a bunch of stocks with that big lump sum. And there is an advantage to lump sum investing. However, you're literally waiting a year to be able to start investing. When if you started back in January because you filled out your W-4 properly and you got the money you were supposed to get and you didn't overpay the government each paycheck, then you would be able to take that money each month and you would be able to invest it each month and you would have a bigger rate of return than having to wait a whole year and starting to invest. See, it's not about timing the market, which means when should you buy the stock or should you sell the stock? It's about time in the market. So even if it's only a little bit of money, it's better to have that money in the market working for you as soon as possible. And if you could get money in there in January instead of waiting till the following January or March or, or February or March, whenever you get your tax return, that's better. So let's just recap really quickly. Most people will take their tax return and pay off debt. That doesn't make any sense. If they would just pay the right amount throughout the year, they could use the money to pay off the debt throughout the year. Secondly, they're gonna take that money and buy something that they wanna buy. Well, again, that makes no sense because if you just pay what you're supposed to pay to the IRS, you take the extra money and you can save up and actually earn interest and be able to buy something and have a little left over because you have earned interest. And then lastly, they want to invest the money. Well, again, you'll earn a lot more money by having that money in the market sooner than later. Now, let me just share with you how to solve this problem. And I've kind of alluded to it throughout the video. The first thing is you want to go down to your HR department 
or your, whoever does your payroll, and you want to let them know you'd like to redo your W-4. Your, it's actually the form W-4. You'd like to refill that out and fill it out properly this time. Now, this is going to take work. You get the form. You can even go to the IRS website and put. A, I'll put a link in the description below for the actual place where you can go on the IRS.gov and get the form just in case you are too nervous or too embarrassed to go ask your HR department. But if you go down to your HR department and you get the Form W-4 and you actually read the instructions and fill it out properly, you're gonna pay less to the IRS throughout the year, which means you're gonna have more money in your checking and your bank account and your paycheck every month and every or every other week or however often you get paid. And then you'll be able to use that money to save and to invest and to pay for the things that you wanna pay for with cash instead of paying with credit and paying huge interest rates all throughout the year to then finally pay it off at the end of the year, only realizing that you had to pay a lot more money because you had to pay interest. I hope I helped you understand why getting a big tax return may not be as exciting as you once thought it was. I used to think it was awesome and it was amazing until I realized it was just the IRS giving me my money back. I hope you got a lot out of this video. And if you missed the last video I made, it's right here. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel up here and go ahead and check out this video up here that YouTube thinks you might like. I hope you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.